Hey YouTubers, I'm going to start this with Pacific Beach State Park. I finally made it to the Pacific Ocean in Washington on the awesome Olympic Peninsula. So I'll show you a little bit of this neat park and I'll show you some other stuff as well. So I hope you enjoy. Here we go. Pacific Beach State Park. I'm going to walk it for you. Hold on. This is Site 1. Just over that, you're literally the ocean. Excuse the bouncing. So boom, there's the ocean. I'll show you more. Sorry about the bouncing. I'll just take pictures. I've become pretty terrible at remembering prices of places if I don't write it down. So these are pretty much standard rates for Washington State Parks and 30 amp service pretty good park it's a little tight a little packed in but nothing to complain about because it's location 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 and you're right on the ocean as I said and I also have the other habit of if I show a campground if I show a place like this I got to show you the bathrooms and the showers this is another one of those kind of places where you have to pay to take a shower but if you got a small class B it's well worth it so again nice campground if you want to be on the ocean, this is a good place to do it. They have tent sites as well. In other videos, I also get terrible at, oh, look, this squirrel. There's the water station. It was a little bit different. I get terrible at remembering exactly where it was when I edit way later. All right, this is going south on 109. It's quite pretty. I don't have to lean forward because I got the mic on, but I do have the window open. Okay, now going south on 109 towards Copolis. If that's wrong, I'm sorry. And uh, hope you enjoy. I'm not going to talk much more. We'll let you look at the beauty. At one point, I want to shut up about it, but if you've been following along, I'm very happy to have much cooler temperatures. It might be a little hazy and overcast, but I'm good with that. This is a little kind of yuppie kind of town with condos and stuff that kind of sprung up. And I'm sure everything there is quite expensive. Explored up around in there. I'm not sure if I did a video on another pass, but we'll see what happens in the future. I don't even know what I recorded anymore. But taking this beautiful road along the coast to get to the beach. Because the beach is why you come here. I actually did quite a bit of exploring on this day, but I'm going to break it down into a couple videos. Because, you know, nobody wants to watch hour-long videos, do they? Do they really? I don't think so either. I also apologize about the glare and I'm using a mask, you know, a COVID mask to cover the metal part of my uh, mount for the GoPro and messed it up and it's in the window. So it was not a perfect recording day. Down to the beach. I was really looking forward to and excited about this part of it, driving right out on the beach. So you get to drive on the beach, which is nice. A GoPro can never really capture all this stuff, so there'll be some pictures in a little bit. And no, we're not going to drive right into the ocean. It's tempting, but at some point we're going to turn. There you go. Get out of there. And there were quite a few people out there. There was even some people camping out there. I don't know the rules exactly about where you can and can't do that. And then figuring out when high tide and low tide are. You know, you don't want to mess up and, and wake up and have your RV or your camper in the ocean. That would not be a good day. That could lead to a lot of problems. And usually you want to stick to the well-driven on areas where it's compacted down and solid. All right, so here we go with some snapshots of this spectacular oceanfront landscape. It's just beautiful. Again, I'm going to shut up and just let you enjoy. I rode it in the sand but didn't come out well. Wander on. There's the Pacific Ocean.
kind of look like a graveyard. It's been a couple years since that I've been to the Pacific Ocean, but it was time to get in it again. He's going in. He's crazy, that water's cold. Cool, you get to drive on the beach. All right, did the beach. Now we're gonna keep going south. And doesn't that look pretty? Also, I don't think I had the mic plugged in very well. I got a little bit of static throughout it, so uh, there I'm trying to fix it for you. But uh, we're moving on to another spot. I met up with my friend, obviously, who lives out here in Washington, and she was able to come down here, and we spent a couple days down here, but couldn't get in at the same campsite. She had to find another one, so that's where we're driving to now before, like I said, there's going to be more of this day of traveling but just in the next video or another video whenever it gets uploaded but let's go check out the campground she was staying at there you is mm -hmm. that's a cute little park right yeah 55 bucks a night <laughs> it's a nice campground but as you heard pretty pricey yeah. So I'll include here a little driving tour of, I'm pretty sure this campground was called Driftwood. And again, it's very nice. It's just $55 a night for some people. I'm one of those some people that find that a little bit high. And I, I try to avoid places at that price range if I can. But this was very nice. Um, well manicured, well taken care of. You know, at that price it should be, but, you know, you get a lot of areas in this country, and that's what camping costs. It's not cheap like it used to be anymore. You're not in the UP where you can get some pretty good camping rates there. Out west especially, it can get pretty pricey. But this is a nice campground. There's a, there's a little trail that takes you to a river here. But I hope you enjoyed this. There's going to be more to come. As I've said in my videos on this, there's a lot more to come if I can ever get to it. But have a great and wonderful day.